let's do this, let's do that, slow to the game, let's do this, yeah, slow to the game, oh. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the Mystic Channel. In today's video, we're playing Stillwater yet again, the final episode of the series. I am so excited to do this. Uh, if you guys don't know, you haven't watched the other um, parts, what the freak are you doing? Link in the description to the playlist, go watch them now. Um, but if you have watched them, hello, welcome back to this, this game. Uh, so if you don't know, which you should. By now but if you don't uh in the last video we got the good ending we beat the whole game got the good ending but i want to get the bad ending i want to see the whole thing so we're gonna do that off camera i played through the entire game back to the point where you have the choice that will determine whether or not you get the good ending or the bad ending i think uh, and i saved it so we're just gonna skip right ahead so what am what am I doing? Let's do this. Alright, here we are. The decision. Last time, we chose to take the locket. Uh, because I thought, you know, might as well, you know, might help our investigation. But today, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it be. I don't even wanna look at it anymore. Get out of here. I think it's best to put it back for now. He was about to put everything back in the chest when he feels a wet and cold sensation crawling up his leg. What? Water. Okay, this is the same as the last time so far. Dang it, no. Suddenly the light shut off. The scream is heard. Oh, okay, we've already seen this. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna read this. I'm just gonna play through it. It's the creepy man. It's the creepy man. For those who've seen the ending, the good ending, we know this is Lewis or something trying to imitate Lewis at least. I don't think it's actually Lewis. Maybe Lewis died and then got turned into this being somehow, something like that. So this is all the same so far. I think I'm just gonna cut here and I'll come back to you guys when we get to something different. Mortimer State, 12.01 a.m. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I think this is probably where the change is gonna happen because if you remember, in the good ending, the way we saved uh, Henry is by using the locket. So now that we don't have it, I'm gonna assume that we're not gonna be able to save Henry. Colby, Noah, where are you? He hears faintly the sounds of barking and echoes of people yelling in the distance. He rushes towards the echoes, guiding him through the downpour. With his heart racing and blood rushing to his head, he finds his way to the lake. Drawing closer, he sees Nina giving chase to her grandfather. Unfortunately, she doesn't get too far as Noah stops her. Grandpa, stop! Grandpa! Let me go! My grandpa, he's... Nina, please. It's dangerous. You'll get hurt too. I don't care, I... Don't want to lose anyone anymore. It's at that instant Hugo trudges against the water, pursuing Anita's stead. So this is still all the same so far, but I think when we get in the water, it's going to start changing. Determined, he trudges further in. Nearing the deep end, he sees Henry Mortimer gazing directly into the abyss. He looks even more frail and shoveled, as if all the life had been daring from him, surrendering it all to the lake. Before Henry could lean in, Hugo reaches out and tugs at his arm. Mr. Mordner. Mordner? <laughs> Motionless and unresponsive, he still stares deeply into the water. There's so many things we can't afford to lose in our lives, and you're one of them. To Nina, you're all she has left. She needs you, Mr. Mortimer. Hugo felt it. A slight jolt from Henry's arm. Ba ba blue ba lee ba blue ba ba ba. He slowly turns to face Hugo. Nina. However, just as cool about the storm, Henry jerks back, wrenching his arm away from Hugo's hold on him. All of this is my fault. If only, if only I got to Lewis sooner, then none of this would have happened. And ranges even closer to the edge. Blah, blah, blah. I've already seen this. <laughs> Should have what? Gone in his stead? Gone with him? You know that wouldn't resolve anything. Not for you or Lewis. I... I've had an... Well, this is different. I've had enough. Lewis is waiting for me. He's waiting for me to come home. Before he could reach out for Henry's hand, he disappears into the water. Mr. Mortimer! Without hearing the anguished cries and desperate pleas, Hugo dives after him into the abyss. Question mark, question mark, question mark. 12.30 a.m. Plunging into icy waters, Hugo feels shocks running rampant through his body. Little spikes continuously piercing from his legs to the tips of his fingers. Fiercely and unyielding. His chest tightens as his heart, and his heart ra races as he begins to kick his legs. 
hoping whichever way he goes, he'll find his way to Henry. So deeper and deeper in, he sees faintly a figure slowly descending into the darkness. <gasps> As he finally gets closer to Henry, long, snake-like arms stretch across the void and grab Hugo's neck, violently squeezing all of the air out of him. He tries desperately to wrench its hands away, but with each struggle, Hugo's movements begin to weigh heavier and heavier, water filling into his lungs as his vision starts to blur. The cold numbness spreads. Tired and motionless, he watches on as the abyss draws near, swallowing him, embracing him. Let's share this happy ending together. Ooh, bad ending. Oh, look at this dude's face, bro. I am about to cook you. Why you got 27 pieces of snot flying out your non-existent nose? Why your eyes look like you're wearing like a tiger mask? Like, why your mouth open? Why your face green, bro? Are you an alien from Toy Story? Like, uh, and you're a mermaid, bro. That's lame. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Okay, well, that was the bad ending of Stillwater. This video is really short. <laughs> Literally, I recorded for eight minutes. I thought, you know, I might as well get the bad ending out to you guys. So this is gonna be a, sh a video on the shorter side, but hey, what can you do? Thanks for watching. Don't have much to say. It was, it was, that last freeze frame was pretty scary, but eventually it just became humorous at, you know, when I started, you know, cooking this man alive. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!